Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you guys are here today because in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down opportunity score and why it's not a good metric to go off of when finding products. Now, one of my most frequently asked questions I get all the time is, hey Amar, I think this product is a home run. It looks like it's selling well. It's an opportunity score of a seven or an eight. It says it's in high demand. It says it's low competition. I think I'm gonna go for this product. And this video is really gonna break down uh, why that isn't the case. So let me give you guys a quick example by just straight up jumping right into it. So right here, I already found this product earlier, but take a look, baseball glove adult. Okay, so let's just say you found this baseball glove for adults and you wanna be selling it because you know maybe you just wanna be selling some baseball gloves. Now, of course, a lot of these have variations for different sizes. So, you know, if you think, oh, well, you're looking for adult baseball gloves, that's gonna obviously sell a lot less or a lot more than another product. It's probably not the case because they still have variations within these. So let's just say you've decided to sell on this product and, and you're about to hit the Jungle Scout extension. So let's do that right here and we'll see what pops up. Now, at first glance, it looks like an okay product. I mean, some of them are you know, doing 36 reviews, 37 reviews, 93 reviews, and they're all doing 13, 18, $16,000 a month. Some of these are fresh, freshly uh, created listings. Um, go down the list, you'll see more doing 30, $40,000 a month with very few reviews, okay? So you might be telling me, hey, Amar, check out this product. It's, it's a good product. Now, first of all, there's a few red flags with the listing, uh, with the, sorry, with the product here. Uh, right off the bat, there's a lot of name brands in this, okay? You never want to sell something in, first of all, a name brand category, such as Wilson, um, what's another one, Franklin, Mizuno, all these other big name brands. You probably don't want to be selling products in these uh, categories anyways, but ignoring that, you'll see that it only has 288 monthly sales, which is, by the way, not good. You want to aim for like, you know, seven, 800 at a bare minimum uh, for a specific search term um, or, a, or a product. And of course, you know, it's a good selling price. So probably there's some profit margin built into this and low reviews overall. And you see the seven opportunity score. So this is like, okay, ignoring, like I said, the name brands, this is a good product. And the thing is, if I just so much as change the uh, term here by just typing baseball glove instead of baseball glove adult, okay, you'll see what happens here. So let's hit the Jungle Scout extension again. You'll see that most of the products are still the same exact products we were just looking at. Monthly sales are about the same. Right away, it jumps down to a four, okay? This product is now officially a four instead of what it was before, which was, I think, a seven. Right, so right away, this product does not look like such a shoe in for a great product that you wanna be selling. Now, if we also take a quick look at the numbers, you'll see that the numbers have changed quite a bit, okay? So, of course, ignoring, like I said, the name brands, you'll just notice that the numbers are a lot higher, right? So there's a lot more profit now being made in a lot of these products, but also the reviews have skyrocketed on some of these listings. Like, you'll see 500 here, 350, 280, 206, 196, okay? You're seeing a lot more reviews. And basically all I'm saying is, depending on what your search term is, your opportunity score will vary. So if I, for example, type in baseball mitt, okay? And then I hit the Jungle Scout extension again, this might not change the opportunity score um, because it's it's still relatively the same keyword. But if let's say maybe I change it to, I don't know, for uh, mitt for kids, okay? It might change the products, which it does. Look, obviously, they're different colors. And then you click this again. It might be a four. It might be a nine. It might be a two. You don't know until it pops up. Let's see here. Oh, another four, right? So if you found a seven originally, and then you're using that as a, as a way of gauging whether this product is worth selling and moving forward with, you have to cons consider typing in different search terms to get different opportunity scores but then again you don't really want to be going off them anyways you want to be just focusing on the numbers right so in this case folks on a high profit margin obviously selling product products that are selling for at least 20 23 dollars um, you want less than maybe 150 reviews across the whole board and you don't also want um, a lot of products with 35,000 and then led by a four thousand dollar product then seven thousand dollars and forty two thousand dollar products it's, it's good to have a lot of high revenue products on the front page, but when you're using a short tail keyword, seeing this just, um, is, it, it's not good for the business because even imagine, even if you're ranked number one for the keyword that you are, you know, typing into the search term here, you could be 
$1,200 or you could be $27,000. Well, this is a sponsored listing, but you could be $1,200 or you could be $35,000, right? And this is why it's not good to also, um, you know, go off opportunity score because these will vary so much that it's it's better to just, like I said, keep an eye out on the reviews, on the monthly revenue, and paying attention to the profit margin. And if you find a product that looks good, more than likely, the opportunity score will be a four or a five, even if it is a very good product where everyone's making $30,000 a month, everyone has under 150 reviews, everyone's selling for 25 bucks, it might still be a four or a five, right? But that doesn't that shouldn't discourage you from going through with that product, right? So that's really just something I wanted to make a quick video about um, and just explain to you guys that it's not a good metric to go off of. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys once again watching my videos. I hope you can apply this sort of uh, little trick to your product research phase and sort of start ignoring it. Um, I'm pretty sure this is only a feature on the pro version of jungle scout so if you don't have it you don't even need to worry about it so there's that um but like i said i want to thank you guys for watching my video feel free to like share subscribe leave a comment you know i like to read and reply to those and i hope you guys have a great day